morning, darling. Thank you for letting me sleep. from being a campfire girl. Are they the way you like them? They're delicious. But thanks very much. Well, I just came over for some coffee. We can't let them go to waste, can we? Thank you very much. Hello? Uh, hello? This is Mrs. Stevens, your neighbor. Is Mr. Stevens there? Yes, he's right here. How do you do, neighbor? I'm Pleasure O'Reilly's baby sister, Danger O'Reilly. Danger O'Reilly? Hello, Danger. Certainly is a pleasure. <laughs> I felt sort of guilty this morning when your poor husband got locked out because I distracted him while he was getting the morning paper. So I had to feed him breakfast to make up for it. Naturally. Well, he didn't dare wake you while you were having your beauty sleep. Boy, what an appetite this husband of yours has. It's like a lion. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, good morning, honey. Good morning, darling. It seems you've started our fun-filled Sunday without me. How long have you been baby sister sitting? Uh, just for a short while, dear. Um, I'll be right there until you're out of it. No, no. Uh, uh, honey, there's an emergency. The dam just broke. Uh, I'll call you later. Darren? Da where, where do you turn to go? I don't know. Well, where do you keep your marks? What's the latest bulletin from the flood area? Oh, gee, I'm sorry to borrow Darren this long, Mrs. Stevens, but, well, the Jiffy Plumbing Company's just taking forever to get here. Darren, I had a dream about helping me mop up the kitchen. Isn't that sweet? Uh, uh sweetheart, uh... Uh, the, the trouble you see, uh, is, uh, it's Sunday. Well, don't worry, Darren. Let's all wait a little longer, and it'll be Monday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, goodbye. interrupting your nice little party. Not at all. I'm just resting. What's the happy reason for this surprise visit? It's your old playmate, Samantha. And I'm afraid it's not all that happy. If you could have seen the sad look on the face of my poor lost child, playing solitaire. Samantha reduces solitaire? I don't believe it. <laughs> To Samantha, the only one that got away. How my daughter can prefer that terrestrial existence to gracious living in a land of endless enchantment. And married to that mundane mortal is more than I... Warlike George. Ah, uh, and Nora, you are giving birth to an idea of incredible devilment. With me, I trust in the star role. I and Dora. To beseech you, George, dream prince of mischief, to rescue Samantha from suburbia and solitaire by zeroing down on 1164 Morning Glory Circle and wooing my delinquent witch daughter back to her senses. A perfectly wizard notion, Andorra. Shall I go as a wolf? No. It's too obvious. <laughs> Why not your old Nimbus? The one that so inspired Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Wizard. That's my boy. Go on, go to it. Ah, 